Hey y'all, it's Frankie here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and today I'm gonna be giving myself a stick and poke tattoo, aka stabbing myself, which I guess that's a thing that I do here on the internet. Um, I'm gonna keep doing it because tattoos in Chicago are like weirdly f expensive, and the last one I got was this massive shoulder piece still not done. I have other things that I want to do to it. But this thing wrapping around my shoulder cost me almost $500. And I just, I don't, I don't have the money to spend on $500 tattoos every month, but I want tattoos. So here is my cheap alternative if you want to give yourself a tattoo and are also in the same predicament that I am where you never have any money. So really quick before I actually get into the whole stabbery of this video, I do have social media. So if you'd like to check out my Instagram, my Instagram will be linked down below in this video. You may also check out my YouTube channel. I've been making a whole bunch of movie review videos, painting my own nudes, stabbing myself like this video. I've already got a stick and poke video video up somewhere on my channel. So if you want to go check those things out, go subscribe and click that bell icon because I have a tendency of not posting my videos on consistent days. So it's probably going to be Fridays, but um, there's this thing called procrastination that I am a master at. If you would like to see my stuff, please go check that out. If not, then I'm very happy to have you while you're around. So time to stab myself. I just really don't want to. I've <laughs> I love that I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna stab myself on camera for several hours. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. But I also really want tattoos. And that half of my argument is winning out in this particular moment. So I do want to throw this little PSA in there. If you are under the legal age of getting a tattoo wherever you live in the world or the universe, because I have a sneaking suspicion we're not always gonna be on this planet, please don't use this video as a way of like, getting around the rules and giving yourself a tattoo before you're old enough to have one. I'm no expert. I have very little hygiene skills. I am not a licensed professional tattoo artist. I am simply an idiot on the internet who likes to do this to their own body. Don't give yourself tattoos if you're not old enough. There is a reason you're not old enough. Just wait. You'll get there eventually. Everybody else who is over the age of the legal consenting range to get tattoos, you are very welcome to sit tight and watch me uh, stab my leg for several hours and listen to me ramble because I'm gonna talk about a couple things today. Let's just jump right on into this video. Look at this. Oh my God, I forgot what it's like to have smooth legs. Time to draw on the design. So what I've been thinking recently is um, eyeball flowers. I just spent an entire month embroidering a shirt with eyeballs and eyeballs have kind of uh, just always been one of my things. So what I'm gonna do is up flower with an eye in the center. Let me just say really quick, I have to apologize for some of the most unflattering shots of myself I've ever seen in my whole damn life. Holy shit, that looks awful. <laughs> All right, this is part of the fun creative process of let's do it again. That's gonna pretty much do it. So let's take a look at this. Just need to make sure to follow these wider guidelines because I did draw it a little bit small in some places. I didn't really like that. I wanna make sure to get the petals a little bit like roughly around the edges because the eye in the center is going to be just like this very flat line, circular dome looking thing. Um, yeah, it's not the best. I'm just gonna keep my freaking fingers crossed and pray that I don't screw my skin up. Let's just make sure not to mess 
my flesh up. But at the same time, like, I'm probably just gonna get it covered up if it sucks. Like, this could be the next spot for my, like, woodland design tattoo. Yeah, now I'm gonna get into the whole me stabbing myself for several hours and not talking to the camera because I need to focus on the pain that I'm about to experience. So I think I'm gonna watch Hayao Miyazaki movies while I do this. I am definitely going to fold in on myself while doing this. <laughs> I just realized there's actually a lot of feet in this video. <laughs> I hope all of you uh, foot fetish bat who are into that really enjoy this section of the video. <laughs> I don't personally have a foot fetish, but you know, sexy shoes that i understand anyway what am i talking about this has nothing to do with what i actually wanted to talk about really quick <laughs> i wanted to chat about kind of like my tattoo gallery and why i feel comfortable stick and poking myself so i'm gonna do that instead of just making you know sexy foot jokes the entire time <sighs> please excuse me so yeah i i think i'm gonna my plan words frankie words i think my plan for my body is that i'm gonna use the left leg and like my the left side of my body as kind of like my sketch pad if that makes any sense i'm of the frame of mind that i want to use myself to get better at tattoos so that i could potentially get an internship or like learn from a professional at some point in the future but i need a portfolio to do so so why not use my own skin as a portfolio for a tattoo internship like that doesn't seem like a bad idea to me and i'm gonna do that so i think the as you can see here this like my left leg i'm gonna use my left leg as a sketch pad and I have a thing about making tattoos that mean a lot to me kind of centered closer to where my heart is on my body. So my left leg is kind of like the farthest point away from that area on my body. And I'm just going to scribble on myself, basically. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a, a tattoo, like, YouTube video every single time I give myself a stick and poke tattoo. Because this process is, like, strangely complicated and difficult. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep practicing and keep working on my art and technique and try and get better at this, because I genuinely love stick and poke. Ooh, okay, and now my foot's tingling, so... Uh, oh. the best considering that I have hip dysplasia and um, my hips are already kind of to begin with and I spent yesterday jumping around on this fountain even sitting just like this hunched over at a desk feels good it's uh going well so far but I am gonna take a break from filming and stabbing because I think it's been like an hour my leg is completely numb and now tingling rather ferociously as the blood is returning to my foot. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, I really don't like that. Alrighty, mini life update from me. I've started dating again, which is simultaneously one of the most terrifying and exhilarating experiences. I forgot how much fun it is. The like glow, the, the meeting new people and feeling your feels and having really good conversations and just vibing with new individuals is <sighs> so much fun and um <laughs> just have to put it out there i'm having a lot of fun i'm finally like talking with people and not feeling afraid of dating again which i was for the longest time during the pandemic for a myriad of reasons but i don't want to get into that because that's negative i just want to relish in the glow of my life right now and the fact that I'm like excited and uh things are happening with a couple of people which is really fun you know he -he. good for me <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know how to end the sentence but there you go
Okay, okay. Alright, there's only so much of this shit I can take. Less than two hours is gonna cap it for the day. 99% of this tattoo is done. I am, however, going to quit for today because I just can't. I, I need to... I need to not... Oh, wow, that feels good. I need to not stab myself in the foot anymore today. So what I'm gonna do is clean everything up. I'm going to wrap my leg in plastic wrap, uh, put some of the ointment on, and then anything that I haven't done, I'm going to go over and work on tomorrow night. Hey, so you know how I said I was going to um, continue this tattoo and finish it the day after? I didn't do that. Uh, it's been like a week and a half since I first started filming this YouTube video. And since then, I have visited the West Coast, gotten a little bit more tan, if you can tell, and uh, swum around in a couple bodies of water, which just another little PSA. You should not swim or be in bodies of water or even take a bath with a new tattoo. Did I listen to that advice? No. So we all know that I'm really bad at taking care of new tattoos, but mine actually looks fine. It's been a week, so the skin around where I stick and poked is flaking off and the hair is actually growing back on the patch that I shaved. But apart from that, that's just like normal healing process stuff. So apart from that, nothing has happened to my leg, which is kind of a minor miracle. In any case, today I'm gonna be finishing up the actual stick and poke. I'm putting in some shading in the actual flower, finishing up the stem, making it a little thicker. And honestly, I think that's really all I wanna do with this tattoo at this point. So yeah, sit back, relax, and watch me continue to finish up this stick and poke tattoo. So the last little bit that I wanted to talk about in this video is kind of like, what I want to do in the future on this YouTube channel. I definitely want to continue the making uh, stick and poke tattoo content, tattoo content in general. I know at some point in the near future, I want to draw like iconic corpse style um, on my own body, maybe with Photoshop, maybe I'll animate it, but I want to draw tattoo designs on myself need to figure out how to do that and get around the whole um, nudity is a problem on YouTube because they're definitely going to take that video down, but I'm going to work on it and I'm going to keep working on tattoo stuff, but I also think I need to focus a little bit more of my energies on the creative aspects of YouTube, like making art and food and traveling. I know we're not supposed to travel very much and like I can only stick to Chicago neighborhoods, but I think I want to move the main focus of why I have a YouTube channel away from like nitpicking video, uh, nitpicking movies and TV and more focus my energies on making things because that's just really what makes me happy in the end. YouTube videos like this one where I'm stick and poking myself, yes, it can be a pain in the ass, but at the end of the day, content like this makes me feel so much more fulfilled than something like shouting about how they got the details wrong in the background of Shrek. Like, there's just a drastic difference of how I feel after making those different kinds of YouTube videos. <clears throat> So, you know, just letting you know, I think I'm gonna be making more art, making more food, and um, still gonna talk about movies, but you know, less so in the future on this channel. Okay, so I believe that I'm now done with this tattoo. I did the shading on the petals for the leaves. I filled in the little um, retina eye bit so it's darker and then made the stem thicker. It looks a lot better. Uh, my leg is officially completely numb. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with this tattoo. It was really quick to do the touch-ups and cleanups and I think in total it took me about two hours to do this tattoo. Considering its size and considering the fact that it's a stick and poke, that kind of makes sense. 
but uh yeah i'm really happy with how it turned out it's a little wonky and i know for a fact it's not going to be like a deep black like a machine tattoo i think i showed these earlier off in my video at the beginning but i'm going to just give you a little bit of a this is how it is a year later look back so this tattoo was done in february of 2020 right before the pandemic happened and i did this tattoo in april may whenever i posted that stick and poke video and that's the difference machine done these two stick and poke these two they're obviously gray and not like super deep intense colors but i'm kind of fine with that because it's a stylistic choice they're a little bit more like fuzzy the lines aren't super clean and i did it myself so if it's not intensely black then that's really not a like a big deal to me if i hate this tattoo in the future the one that i just did the eye and the flower then i'll just get something over the top of it like that's the beauty of tattoos is i can just have a professional do dark ink over my stick and poke and it'll probably be gone in 10 years anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video i am gonna do another stick and poke tattoo i believe i have one scheduled for november i am gonna buy myself a tattoo machine and tattoo myself with that like do a stick and poke tattoo and then do a tattoo with a machine and compare and contrast at some point so if you're interested in seeing more of my tattoo content stick around and see what i get up to in the future i hope you all are doing well wherever you are and i will see you down in the comment section of this video and in my next one so see you soon y'all